in my hands today, Ben Ross HTX Type R driver. So this is the driver, it's got not quite as far back uh, um, weight as its other one, and it's got adjustability in the loft as well, so you get a little bit more customization in the Type R H. TX from Ben Ross. Let's hit it. Got some real ball data coming at you as well from a Chrome Sauce and GC2. Let's get stuck in. So in my hands, it's a HTX Type R driver from Ben Ross. Down by the ball, it looks nice. Um, similar to the normal one this one just the type r you get a slightly different weight position not as far back so it's built for a little bit lower spinning it's a bit more low and kind of in the middle more forward than the other you get the same ct response channel on the bottom keeping ball speeds up across that face and you get a changeable neck which allows you to move the loft up and down now i've got a 10.5 move down in loft but when i put it down by the ball it still looks like it's got a bit of loft, to be honest. That doesn't look that low lofted to me. Um, when I turn the neck as well, I wasn't getting a click, which I didn't quite like with the neck. So it felt a little clunky on changing. I actually struggled to get it in a little bit. Um, but the club looks good. It almost feels like it sits a little bit closed as well when you move it into this setting, which I'm not so keen on. Um, let's give it a hit. It's a 460 head. I like the shape of the head. I'm not so keen on the way it sits. And that looks like a lot of loft for where it says the loft is. Yes, it makes quite a loud noise. Um, hit that one fine, but it does make quite a ting off the head, which doesn't bother me that much. I'm just not used to it as that loud um, from lots of the clubs I've been testing in recent years. They've kind of moved away from such loud tings. Let's give it another hit. It feels solid enough. It's just very loud, I and mean, I think you would actually get people kind of commenting on that. That's a nice ball flight, hit that one pretty good. Let's give it one more hit, and then we'll show you some numbers from the club. Um, lots of people have been asking me to review a bit of Ben Ross, and to be honest with you, I've been trying for years. It's more just getting it in my hands was always the hard bit. Let's give it one more go. I just don't like the way it sits, it's slightly pointing left. I've hit that one really nicely. I do find myself feeling like I have to knock it down because I just do feel like I'm looking at a lot of loft on this, even though it's cranked down. Looks fine, feels okay, it's a bit loud. Um, but yeah, not a bad club. Let's see what the numbers come out like. Numbers time then. Uh, HTX Type R Ben Ross. Cavar uh, getting a carry of 239, so not my longest carry. As you can imagine, 243 is my furthest carry I got out of it. But I'm spinning it again around 3000, launching at 15 degrees, peaking height again a bit too high at 39 yards in the air. I, it's just looking at a lot of loft, and that should be lower loft and that's where I worry a little bit when you start coming down in price bracket those little things just the loft not being quite what it looks like as much are things that I would worry about the club feels good I would want a club which has got that adjustability just to offer me a little bit more um, from the numbers in changing them I wasn't able to get them anywhere near the 2000 revs which is where I'd want it to be but not bad. I mean, flight on it as well. I'm able to hit target with it. There's nothing wrong with dispersion. Again, that's going to be me, never the club. So many people talk about dispersion. That's all on me, not the club. The numbers are fine. The numbers are what they are for what you're spending. I think if you're in a certain price bracket, that club's going to do enough for you. Certainly not the most exciting driver I've used. I actually prefer, out of that one, they do one which is one loft. I get that one more than that because it's filling a real price bracket where this one offers a bit more but then doesn't seem to, for me, offer a bit more um, in my numbers. Maybe you go out and try them, that's the best thing. These are my numbers, not yours. You go and try them, they might sit perfectly with you. The best thing for you, always go out, hit them, see what you feel like, get some data and see if it works for you. Post comments down below, Ben Ross fan or not, have you heard of them or not? I'd love to hear, speak to you soon. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.